Happy Valentine's Day, guys. So today we will be doing... <laughs> Today, we will be doing love readings specifically. Um, we will, Usually, I do my readings generally, um, whatever comes out. But today, I am specifying love readings because it is Valentine's Day. We will be using the Lover's Path Tarot along with the Karma Sutra to clarify and the Power of Love Oracle deck. So... Um, for those of you that are interested in purchasing my lover special, my Valentine special, it will end one o'clock, February the 15th. So the end of Valentine's Day will be the end of the special. If you guys are interested in getting that, now would be the time. Okay, water signs, let us begin. This will be a love reading for February the 14th, 2020. What messages, what guidance do we have? Messages, guidance, do we have? For Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Love for February the 14th, 2020. What guidance do we have for Cancer, Sun, Rising, and Venus, and Love? Messages, guidance for Cancer, Sun, Rising, and Venus. All right, we got three. The first we have is Angel of Vision. It says someone is not revealing part of the story. Trust your feelings over what others say. We have Angel of Emergence. It says it's time for the real you to emerge. And we have Goddess of Psychic Protection. It says, what you believe, you create. No one can harm you. All right, so let's see what messages we have for Scorpio. Someone rising in Venus in love. All right, Scorpio, we have Angel of Joyfulness. It says, something wondrous and magical is about to happen. Messages for Pisces. Someone rising in Venus in love. Pisces, we have God of the Arts. It says, the artist within you is about to emerge. The underlying message for all of my water signs is angel of diet and nutrition. It says, pay attention to what you eat and drink. You intuitively know what is good for you. This also goes with the energy that you are taking around you um, as in regards to people, social media, environments, all that matters. All right, so let's see what messages, what guidance do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This will be for... February the 14th, 2020. What messages in love do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? February the 14th, 2020. Messages, guidance for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. February the 14th, 2020. In love. Ace of Cups. We got that for the um, fire signs as well. So some of you guys could be dealing with a fire sign. I've definitely seen a King of Cups that was extending to a fire sign. But Four of Swords here, Ace of Cups, if you are going to extend, you need to make sure that you are actually in alignment with the potential of love and not with just allowing a partnership. Three of Pentacles is about a partnership. So some of you guys here, I feel like with the Queen of Swords and the Three of Pentacles, you need to be more discerning around what you are cooperating with or for. With the star energy here, this is about seeing the bigger picture. We talked about this yesterday. Three of Cups. So some of you guys may be in a space of cooperating within a third party. Um, maybe multiple people involved within the situation. That could, this is Four of Cups. So that could end in discontentment or disappointment, okay? The mm, Five of Wands as the outcome. So I feel like there's going to be some conflict. Some There could be a fight because he about to hit her with that stick. So be careful um i definitely seen uh, a masculine fire i mean a masculine water sign so if you're dealing with a fire sign be careful they may want to fight if you don't come to them in the correct manner and they also had fives as well so yeah this could end in a fight this is valentine's day <laughs> Goodness gracious. So I feel like there's going to be some truth around a partnership here. I do feel like with the subconscious, you're really thinking about what makes you happy. Could it also be dealing with multiple people? If you are, there could be some conflicts surrounding that because it's Valentine's Day. So with the three of pentacles here, why is this three of pentacles here? Ooh. We have the five of pentacles with the page of swords. So I feel like you're dealing with a either some money issues that are creating a delay within some sort of partnership or eight pentacles here you mean you really may be needing to invest in your own production moving forward or investing in your own like work moving forward because you're delaying progress you could also gain some 
challenging information if you feel left out in the cold within some sort of partnership that you have been dealing with i feel like there's going to be some challenging information here that could possibly end in a fight king of cups here king of cups is cancer and energy it could be a it could be you because you were in the fire sign reading so okay y'all i got this nerve that makes it feel like i'm getting like electric shocks in my neck which that don't usually happen, so that may be relevant to this reading or to you. So we have the Queen of Swords here. Um, that is Libra energy, but it can be an feminine, a feminine energy, a feminine energy uh, air sign. It could be any female that is in the space of being very discerning. You could be also being very discerning, needing to see the truth or clarity around a situation. Why is this Queen of Swords here? So we have Nine of Cups. This is about seeing the truth about what makes you happy. Hey, man, I feel like your perspective needs to change in regards to some things. I feel like for a lot of you guys, Page of Cups here, you need to follow the inspiration that you have within yourself. See things for what they are. See things clearly. With the Star card here, this is about seeing the bigger picture. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you may be in a space of seeing the bigger picture around a partnership, but there still may be some challenging information that you are not in the space of a liking again this could end in a fight so we have the star card here with the eight of cups some of you guys need to see the bigger picture walk away from the situation in order to move yeah this eight of wands eight of cups some of you guys have been in a cycle here um king queen of swords you need to see the truth of a situation that it is blocking you from being able to move forward you have a potential new opportunity but the person that you want or the person that this fire sign that I've seen in the fire sign reading, they want balance and they're manifesting balance. And if you are not coming at them in a balanced way, which five of wands is not balanced at fucking all. You really get five of wands is not balanced at all. Stop doing that. He's got, you know, how when you were little, you used to put your mouth on your arm and he's over there doing that. Like, stop, move your mouth. I mean, your arm from around your mouth. Read the book. So with this three of cups here, oh, like I was saying, that's not balanced um, energy. And the person in the other reading was looking for balance. So there could be a conflict of interest here. With the three of cups here in the subconscious here, I do feel like someone wants to either have a celebration. Now, it's Valentine's Day. You could be in a space of wanting to go out. If you're presenting yourself in a manner like I want to go out, I want to have fun. And this person is like, no, I want more than what you're offering. Again, it can end in a fight um or if you want more than what the person is willing to give you again again in, in a fight i feel like there's gonna be a fight i'm gonna just be real with you so three of cups here why is this three of cups here we have the king of wands i told you some of y'all are dealing with a fire sound or someone that has that energy i feel like this person is in a space of really starting something new in their life possibly with another person especially with the three of cups and the five of wands uh yeah queen of wands so whoo um, I feel like you're needing, you could be dealing with a Leo because Leo is, you could be dealing with a Leo. I got Leo here. I got Leo here. King of Wands is Aries. There could be an Aries involved. This could be a third party. You could be a mistress. They could have a mistress. There's other people involved here. Again, this more than likely is going to end in a fight. If not a fight, there's just some challenging information, some truths that you're going to find out around some sort of friendship or partnership that involves other people. So with the five of wands here, we have ten swords here. I feel like the conflict is about embracing the end of a situation. Eight of swords, something that caused you to feel restricted. Five of cups and caused you to have regrets. I feel like you're at a crossroads about the situation. You really need to be in a space of seeing the bigger picture again and moving forward from that. So for a lot of you guys, this is really just about, you know, I feel like you may find out some information today that may not make you happy. Okay. So, and it's, I don't know if it's going to be like through association, through mess, but I do feel like it is going to end because even with the, what I've seen, it's my mom, guys, hold on. So let's get some, I'll show y'all my, my boobs. <laughs> and they ain't much there. <laughs> so let's see. It really is nothing. Let's see what messages we have for my water signs uh, moving forward. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Rising, and Venus. 
What guidance do we have for Cancer, Sun, Rising, Venus moving forward? We have spontaneity. So <laughs> it says you move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations. So you could be, you know, you could be the one that's really being spontaneous about a situation. Um, but there could be some conflicts because of it. I really feel like you need to be spontaneous in a kind way. Okay, so let's see what messages we have for Scorpio. We have release. It says you have the ability to give over unwanted energies to the loving forces of the universe. Okay, that I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. What messages do we have for Pisces? We have virtue. It says you acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow. So I do feel like you guys are very much in the space of moving forward. I do feel like there's some um, conflict the best thing that I can tell you to avoid the outcome, which I see is actual conflict, like a battle, evolve past, you know, negative or low vibrations. Really be in the space of realizing that the obstacles you're facing are merely lessons on the path to love. So be grateful that you are experiencing or that you are seeing the truth of a situation so that you can move away from that and really manifest something better within your life. This is all I have. Until next time, peace y'all.